get it, boy Randy. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Mwah. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I thank you and I appreciate you so much for being here. If you're new, click the like and subscribe button, y'all. Mm -hmm. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just that two middle fingers, okay? Okay! Thank you so much. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to my Facebook group. That group is Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. Those are some question answering people, and somebody's going through what you're going through, okay? And if nobody told you they love you today, Skinny Boy Randy loves you, okay? Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Today I wanted to make a short, quick video for you. We're still continuing our January Garden Series, you guys. Just wanted to show you a few things going on on the Skinny Boy Randy Grow Table, you guys, okay? Please don't let this intimidate you from starting your seeds. You do not have to do all of this, okay? I'm doing all of this, okay? <laughs> because you guys know I grow for educational purposes to help you guys out. I grow for the garden. I grow for experimental purposes. And I grow to get some food. Because ain't nobody got nobody to be going to the grocery store when we can grow our own food, okay? Okay! So everything that you see on this table will be transplanted out into the garden. So you know I have several raised beds, several in-ground beds, just several spaces out of the garden where I can plant a lot of food. So that's why you see a lot of plants in one container, you know, like this, this uh, choy here. This choy, you guys, was planted on the 11th. Can y'all see that? Mm-hmm, this choy. On the 11th, to, and it's only nine days old. It came up super duper fast, that choy did. So yes, you guys, I just wanted to walk you the basic seed starting setup, um, how to start your seeds, when to start your seeds, you know, all that good stuff. First of all, think about why you're growing. Are you growing for food? Are you growing just to have some uh, reason to say, hey, I have a garden and I'm really not interested in food, but I like the way it looks. You know, that's fine too. Give the food away. But um, I just want to walk you through the basics. Now, this entire bed has only been growing for 30 days. Different things are growing at different rates. Some things have been in here for four days. Some things have been in here for 30 days. Some things have been in here for a week. So I wanted to be able to show you along the way what's going on. And if you're following along or if you're growing your uh, vegetables, you might can get an idea of what things should look like at a certain age. Okay, so let's just dive right into the video. The first thing we're going to start off with is the basic seed starting. Okay. Okay, you guys, the first thing you want to do is get your seed started off into a great environment. I showed you how to make the seed starting mix. This video is not about the seed starting mix. I showed you how to uh, take your potting mix and your black cow and sift it. I showed you that a couple of videos ago. You can ju just go back and check that one out. This video is just for demonstration purposes only, just showing you how to load up your containers. This has not been sifted. It's the same mixture. It just has not been sifted. So I just don't recommend it for seed starting, but it will work, okay? Okay! Take what you have and make it work. And if you don't have a sifter and you ain't got time to be doing all that sifting, you take this pot and mix and you make it work, okay? It will work. People say it might be too heavy, but it works, you guys. So, this is pre-moistened. I just took some water and I pre-moistened it. And you don't want it super soaked. You just want it enough so you can put it in your hand and it'll hold together until you crush it apart. Like that. Okay. Make sure you're using pots that have a drainage hole or if you're going to use uh, styrofoam cups, you can use styrofoam cups. You can reuse these year after year and just make sure you put three holes at the bottom of that or you can use the red cups. So we're just going to uh, take our soil mix and put it in our cup. I don't fill it all the way up to the top. Just to that first rim, about there. And give it a firm pressing, not a mashing, just a pressing. You know, just to take any air pockets out. And it's about that deep down in there. Just like that. Okay. And then you would just take your seeds. This is beef, steak, tomato. Let's take your seeds, take a couple and put in your hand. I always put three or four 
depending on what size uh, cell or container I'm using. But oh, you need that many. Yeah, you guys don't overdo it. See, that's four. Okay, and just kind of spread them out in there. Oh, they fell perfectly. Okay, and then just a little tap of soil over top. And that's how you would do that. And you would do the same thing for your chili peppers, your uh, uh, choys, your, your broccoli, everything. You guys don't bury it too deep. The seeds are not that big, especially for the cool weather crops. So you don't want to bury anything too deep. Okay, so now let's look at what happens in a couple of days. So those were beefsteak tomatoes. I think we have some of those growing. But let me show you first. Let's back up. Okay, you planted your seeds like this, right? The first thing you want to do is get them onto a heat mat. And that's what I have set up over there. That's just heat mat only, no light. No light. The light over here where you see greenery. There's no light over here, just the heat mats plugged up. And the reason that is, is because you don't need the light until the plants germinate the ground. And when I mean germinate, you'll see what I like to call the little hook. It's a little hook. When the plants first germinate, coming out of the ground, can you see that hook? There it is. When you see that hook, this needs to go directly under the grow light immediately. And let the light stay on for 72 hours at least before you start to rotate it on and off. Okay, so once you see the hook, then your plant will start to get its little baby. And as you see, this plant is not leggy. It has all the light it needs. This is some cayenne peppers actually planted on the 16th. So that's, you know, that's amazing for peppers to germinate in four to five days. That, that's really amazing. I'm hoping that it's a pepper. But yeah, you guys, so <laughs> after about uh, 10 days, this is what your tomatoes are looking like. Okay. These actually can be potted up into another cup. Some people like to wait till they get bigger or wait till they get more true leaves. But you can you can pop these up right now. The cherry grows super duper fast. These champion collards, you see that? These are nine days old, just in case you're growing collards. And they have true leaves, they're not leggy. They're not leggy at all. And they have true leaves, you guys. That's how you want your plants to grow, to be still close to the soil level. Look how firm and strong that is. And it's already getting a true leaf. A lot of times they'll get really leggy because they're reaching for the light. And I have the Spider Farmer Grow Light, you guys, which is an amazing LED grow light. So that works great for what we're doing. Now, if you're doing lettuces, now this lettuce is only four days old. This is some iceberg lettuce. We're going to have salads and lettuce very, very soon. You can start lettuce indoors, you guys, in a window seal or under grow lights. And then transfer it outside into the greenhouse or hoop house. It loves the cold weather. It can tolerate it. But this is only a few, four days. And it looks like I may have watered this with the sprayer. And you see all the seeds went around the edge. That's why we say don't water from the top, water from the bottom. Because I think somehow, I don't know why I would water it from the top. But look at everything growing from around the rim. And I know I didn't plant the seeds around there like that. But yeah, so now let's talk about your pepper plants. Your pepper plants are going to grow a lot slower. Now these are Big Jim Chili. From honest seed but I'm just using this packet right here y'all just to give y'all visual but the smaller your uh, pepper uh, when it gets to maturity the longer it takes to grow yeah I guess it's more spicy so it just takes its time but this is about 30 days old you guys watch me plant these so at about 30 days your pepper plants may start to be this size 
Okay? Just want to kind of give you guys a visual of how things start looking when they progress. Your leaks. These leaks are nine days old. Mm-hmm. Nine days old. Yep. So once your your plants start to get uh their true leaves, like these tomatoes here, they have a lot of true leaves. I'm gonna pop these up. But once they start to get their true leaves, you can go ahead and turn them into a larger size container so they can keep growing. And I'm gonna show you a simple way of doing that. Let's move our things back over here. Since we're doing the video, you guys, we might as well go all the way. And we have to remember this is our tomato. Put that tag in there. Okay, so I'm just going to do one of these as an example. Okay. So, we already have this one prepared with potting soil. It doesn't have to be seed starting mix. Once you're potting them up, you can just use regular potting soil, you guys. Okay. And the tomato we just planted was a beef steak, so why not pot up? one of these uh, beef steaks which are these ones here okay so all I do fill the container up as if I was starting to seed take my finger make a hole right in the middle leaving a little bit of soil at the bottom I'm gonna pop out my best beef steak this one looks a little raunchy but you never know they, they, they come back so I'm just going to pop it out the cell. See when you use that good seed starting mix you guys, it comes right on out. Okay, don't want to damage any roots. So this is a good time to get this one going. Because you see all the roots on there, on the stem? Hope you guys can see that. Those are roots. And if you put those in the soil, is it capturing it? If you put those in the soil, well you guys know what the tomato roots look like. If you put them in the soil, this part up here is going to branch out into more roots. So you want to bury it all the way down and get those roots. Those extra roots coming along the stem. And then you just backfill. And this is going to give it a strong base, you guys. This is going to give it a strong base. And those roots are going to start to form. Those roots are going to start to form. And use some of that leftover seed starting mix. We ain't got a minute. Yeah. And just go all the way around. All the way up. Almost to the Condoleezza right leaves. The Condoleezza, Condoleezza, have you say it. <laughs> yeah. And that's how you pot up a tomato plant. Okay. Now this is going to stay in here probably until it goes outside or either in the greenhouse. So yeah, you guys, that's just to give you an idea of what your plants may look like within the first 30 days of planting. I hope you guys have learned just a little bit to help you along the way. Don't forget to start your garden, get things going, you guys. You can do it. It's going to be so much fun to watch you grow. Don't forget to check out the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You guys are absolutely amazing. Also, keep a fan. Keep a fan on your seedlings. I forgot to add that, you guys. Keep a fan on your seedlings. Use a, a, a tablespoon of fish emulsion to one gallon of water. It'll come out looking like this. You only use that once every seven to ten days. Once they get their true leaves and your seedlings will be good to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to live, love, laugh, bro, stuff, and eat it. You are absolutely amazing.